So most of our builds of late, we you may have noticed previously that we haven't included a fan relay. Um, that's because most of our builds of late, we use like a, a PWM fan controller. Um, this allows us to control the speed of the fan. So we're actually monitoring the engine temperature completely and trying to control that rather than having a reactive system where all of a sudden it's too hot and we're, we're then chucking a, a you know 100% of our duty to our fan and the fan's coming on fully and then it's coming down below where we want it to be and we you know so we've got this noise this this sort of big amp current rush into the electronics of uh, the electrics of the vehicle so um 90 percent of the time now we use a pwm controller um this is an oem one uh, this is fitted to um lots of fords um you know uh, loads of volvos jaguars um it's a nice like cost effective unit this one is a twin fan one which is what we're going to use on this escort so um I'd say these are cost-effective solutions for this, this, you know, for what we're trying to do with these fans. So um, I'll, sh I'll show you how we run it. We run it from the Max ECU, of course. The Max ECU um, can just control this natively, no problem at all, just with a PWM circuit for one of our GPO outs. Um, all we literally need to do is give this um, a good volt, uh, you know, a good supply, um, and our two fan outputs. And as I say, our PWM voltage allows us to, our PWM control allows us to adjust the voltage or the, the PWM to these so we can drive the fans from anything from zero to 100%. So um, I sell these connectors on the website. So if you if you look again on pvengineering.co.uk, if you want to find these connectors, we sell them just as a pack, um, the three connectors for these. These you can buy, um, off eBay or from your local factors, they range like a cheap one from you can pick them up. I've seen them for like 20 quid, brand new. I imagine they won't last that long, but hey, I've never tried one. Um, to like a Bear Collie one, like Hella do them as well. I think they're about like 50 quid. Um, but yeah, we, we, we'll mount this somewhere near the fan. This, as I say, we're going to use this. I'll, I'll show you how it works in a moment, but but yeah, we, we use these lots and and you know, we've used them. Um, they've been on vehicles, we've sort of set out for you know years and, and been absolutely fine so so yeah um i'll connect this up just you know just i won't use the the, the proper connectors at this point because i don't want to ruin the pins um but we'll just use some spade connectors i'll push them on and i'll show you roughly how you can make this work but but yeah like these are these are good little solutions to you know what we're trying to do and makes uh, makes for a nicer job as well i think Right, so I've connected up um, just using like some crop clips and some little push fit um, spade connectors. This module, just so that I can show you what we're gonna how we're gonna make it work. Um, I've got like just my bench Max ECU here. Um, I power this just from this little thing here, but I've got like a bench supply over here, which is 20 amps. So we've got more than enough power to supply what we're trying to do at the moment. So um, I'll move over to the laptop. I'll fire up the ECU, power on. Um, so there we go. So hopefully you can see the screen of the laptop now. You can see it's got some errors. That'll be um, Lambda and such like um, because there's nothing connected to this poor ECU. So um, output configuration. All I've done is set a, a user PWM1. In this case, it's the cooling fan. I just labeled it. And it brings up this little PWM here. And then this is essentially how I've set this up. So um, you can see... Um, I've set the frequency at 120 hertz. That's these just work fine with that frequency, so that's fine. And then this, these numbers here are just the the duty cycle of the PWM. Um, in this case, it's just a um, it's just a table I brought over from something else that had air conditioning. But you can see when the air conditioning is active, it adds in more PWM to the fan, so that the fans run to cool the condenser. Um, in this case, we won't. I'll, I'll leave it there, but we won't even need it. But you can see it's at zero percent all the way up through, and then we start to get to 70, and then it will soft start. Bring the fans on nice and slowly until you know at 100 we're at 100 but what you gen tend to find is it generally sits around essentially you know just after where the thermostat opens which is just what we want but i'll show you what i mean now i'll just fire the fan up here i'll just highlight these two boxes here and we'll just add in a bit of duty cycle um, and then eventually you'll hear the fans start to kick in now they've soft started now they're running really gently really quietly and then we can ramp them up we'll pump in like sort of 30 percent duty and you hear that they're starting to come up and again we can ramp them all the way up as much as we want until you can barely hear me um, so yeah what you'll tend to find is is that this will sort of you know we can maintain the temperature of the engine um, with none of the sort of on off so again like it's a bit of noise as well you lose you know when we want to we want to hear our engines don't we most of the time so 
Um, these will just generally tend to sit, you know, I, I tend to find they'll sit like 40, 45%, um, you know, until you start to move, but, but you have got that, you know, they can bang in 100% should you require, um, but there's not really any downsides to them as far as I come across these, you know, um, they don't tend to break as much as relays, especially with high current relays, um, like we're using with fans, lots of inrush. So yeah, like, we use them all the time, great bit of kit, and that's what we're going to use on this Escort. So we're going to bolt this one in just in by the inner wing, um, and then this will control the fans, so we don't need any high power um, circuits from our relay box inside. We can literally just run like a fuse supply from the battery to this, um, and then the ECU will look after it natively. So we'll rewire these, because these were randomly um, connected to the wiring for the... Um, spotlights on the front of the car so we've got to redo all of that anyway so as far as i'm concerned this is a massive massive improvement for this car so yeah let's go and get that resolved